the bushcraft challenge. Now, excuse me. Okay guys, thanks for joining me. I have uh, received a package in a post today. Um, this is from a YouTuber in New Zealand. He had a little knife that he used as a neck knife. He didn't have a, sorry, he doesn't have a um, proper sheath to go with it. So I told him that I would make him one. Oh, Full Niven U2 laminated steel. Expensive but worth it. Hmm, what's this? Okay. Okay. Yep, that's a letter to Australian Customs. It's alright mate, it got through, no problems. Okay Rob, I decided to have the knife with the handle up and no no worries on the slot for the ferro rod. I'll leave the choice of colour up to you, who knows you make it creative. Thank you again for this, you're a good man. Your Kiwi mate. Ra, PTO. Here's a piece of lapis lazuli for you. You might want to use it to jazz up some projects of yours. Look at that. Thanks for this, man. I really like it. Okay, this is the knife that I'm going to make a sheath for. That's cute. Look at that. Look at the size comparison. Fixed blade, solid tang. Folding. Tell you what, for a small knife it's got a bit of heft in it. The jimping feels good. I can see this is uh, definitely a sheath that won't last very long. Okay, so um, tomorrow I'm taking a friend of mine uh, to a job interview for her and I'll stop in at the leather supply store and get, grab some scrap leather because I won't be needing much to make a um, sheath for this. As you come to think about it, I probably only need a piece about the same size as that. But uh, I'm going to have to think up a couple of designs and see what will work best for this particular shape and um, yeah so you'll be seeing a uh, leather craft video from me soon guys I'll keep you posted but while I've got your attention I want to talk to you about um, my upcoming bushcraft challenge now, I've got a few items here. Now, these items are things I've purchased over the last, uh, probably about the last year or so, um, for the sole purpose of using them as prizes in the bushcraft challenge. Now, excuse me. What I would like available, if you guys can, have you got something that you currently use or currently own that you no longer want uh, but it's in half decent condition uh, if you do and you're willing to give it away I want some of you to basically send me small items that I can add to the prize pack it could be anything as long as it's not too heavy because I don't want you to send something that's too heavy because the postage the cost of the postage international is just horrendous but if you've got some small items, something that can be used in bushcraft or camping or wilderness survival, 
that you're willing to add to the prize pack, then by all means, contact me here on YouTube uh, through a personal message and tell me that you've got something that you want to send and I'll give you my postage details. The items will genuinely be added to the prize pack. So if you want to contribute to the prize pack, you can still actually do the uh, competition, the challenge, the bushcraft challenge. You, even though you're, you're donating to the prize pack, you can still participate in the bush, bushcraft challenge. Who knows? If you win, you'll get the item back that you actually donated. It can be second hand as long as it's in good condition, don't send me something that's broken because uh, the person who wins the challenge, if they open the prize pack, get all these goodies and then pick up something that doesn't work or is broken, well they're going to be disappointed. You will get full credit in the package that will be sent out. I'll have a list of the items and items that have been donated, there'll be the YouTube user's name next to it. I still have a bit of filming to, to do for the actual challenge. Because I want to actually show you what the challenge is and show you that I can do it and therefore you guys can learn it and do it. I won't do a challenge of something that I can't do myself. Okay, let's, um, let's give the next four weeks, let's say roughly about four weeks from now the, the challenge will start. And what I'll do is over the next four weeks, if any of you are willing to send some items that can be added to the prize pack, then please do so over the next four weeks. Uh, contact me uh, via email through YouTube here, uh, private message stating that you got something that you'd like to add to the prize pack. And I will give you my um, mailing address so you can post those items off. So we'll do that over the next four weeks. As soon as I post the bushcraft challenge, I'll also post uh, an update to the prize pack. And I'll show everyone what has been sent in and who it's from. If someone could actually do this, I know they are really, really cheap over in the United Kingdom and also in the USA. I would like to add a knife to this prize pack. Now I've got a second hand knife that I'm putting in. But I'd like to add a second one. And I just want a basic Mora knife. Nothing flash, not one of the expensive models, just, you know, just the, the cheapest Mora knife you can find. If anybody's got one they're willing to give away, or if anyone is willing to buy one and ship it to me, that'd be great. Uh, Moras are available here in Australia, but they're expensive. Um, you can't get much change out of $30. And for me, at the moment, I just basically lost all my hours at work, so I'm an I am unemployed at the moment, so I can't afford something like that. All my money is going to be going into paying for the postage of the prize pack, which is probably going to be the size of four shoe boxes. So, and it's going to be kind of heavy, so it's going to cost me a lot to ship this out. So if anybody does send any prizes along, just take into consideration the size and weight. But I'll pretty much accept anything for the prize pack because uh, this is going to be an interesting challenge. And it's, like I said before, it's going to be a three part challenge in the one video. So that's enough rambling from me. I'll uh, sign off now, guys, and I'll see you all hopefully soon. All right, take care. Thanks for watching. Guess I better do a good job on this. I don't want to upset the sun god Ra.